Hi there, this is Epitron Omega doing an export tutorial for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. So, first off, you're going to need a model, which we have right here. This is the Cerberus Fighter for Dawn of the Reapers. Now, once you have the model imported into 3D Studio Max, make sure your scales are correct, like this one tech right now currently is. And then you come over here to the helpers menu you go to dummy and then you create dummy points now the dummy points that you have to have on every single model that you make is the center which is in the middle the above which is above the mesh and the aura which is underneath it now the reason why our current mesh is sitting pointing upwards is because when you export that's the way it needs to export so, um, when, uh, other points that you might need are Weapon-0, which you can see that I have selected there, and then Exhaust Points, as well as Ability Points eventually, but that's something completely different. Now, for your textures, what you will be doing is you open up the Materials Editor, and where it says Blin, you can change that over to Fong, and you go specular level 32, which brings a little bump up. Then, when you click this button, right next to the diffuse, it brings up this whole brand new menu. You click, double click on bitmap, and instead of actually selecting something, you cancel. And where it says right here, map two, you change that to the texture's name. So I already have this set up for this particular model. And for the diffuse color, it is set to serb fight clddds Now, like I said, you do not actually have a texture that is linked to the model. So it just shows up gray. Then, once you have that first one done, you open up this maps menu. And then you will also see, you'll see a whole list of different maps that you can use. The only ones that SINS uses is diffuse color, specular level, and bump. So then you check mark the specular level and the bump and you click over here and then you label those to go to the coordinating textures. So for the specular level you use the DA texture and the bump you use the NM texture. And once that is done you click your model you apply it to the model. Now you have to go to graph editors go to new schematic view. I've already got a schematic view saved of this so I can show you what you have to do. Now, it shows your model right there, and then these are all the helpers that you put in there. So what you do is you highlight all of those, you come over here and go to connect, and then you drag them to Cerberus Fight, or whatever the mesh is, is labeled, and it links them to that mesh. That is how the, the points export out of 3D Studio Max. Now, you come over to the Utilities section, and then you go to run script and you run the SOSA2 uh, tool, which will bring this up down here. Now, once that is done, once you have all the everything else done, you make sure all these points are selected, materials, points, mesh, they're all clicked. Then you hit export mesh and then you export it to whatever you want to call it. In this particular case, fighter slash serb slash zero one dot mesh. You save it. You go yes. And then, once that is done, you go in to where the file was saved, which in this particular case, it's in my uh, scenes folder under my Mass Effect. Now you have to wait until it's completely exported before you do anything else. Most of the time, it'll slow your computer down to a crawl. Trust me, I know this has happened before on me, before on my old computer. Now, once that is done, you go back in here, you select it, control C. Then if you are lucky enough to have the convert datas, which are not that hard to, to set up, trust me, it's even a monkey could do it. You put that that mesh file in there, and then you run the bat file, 
which converts it from a bin format to a text format. And then what we're going to do is add this line, max diffuse MIP level. It's the one line that they added into Rebellion that allows for shadows and stuff like that. Now, when you're, we bring the mesh file up in uh, the text document, right underneath where it says mesh data, you hit enter, tab, control V, make sure max diffuse MIP level is the first line in there. So that way it can show accurately. Now, I will show you what the model will look like. So here we are in Sins of the Solar Empire currently. And to make things just easier, I am going to go in and spawn a unit that has the Ready to provide already cover attached for to the it. Fleet. So that way you can see what I've done. Now this is the Cerberus um, Carrier Titan. And just to speed things up a little bit, they hopefully they have a quick quick play set up so that way you can do this and there she is Cerberus fighter with red team colors currently now the best part is that you can change the colors and when you do the team color gets changed which is really awesome in Sins, especially that it's just a texture format, not anything else. So, that is the basic tutorial for exporting models from Sins of a Solar Empire. Have fun.